Alright, so what I have Charmin here today is an old fashioned fine tooth saw. And these are one of the most difficult to sharpen. But the only thing you can use is a little uh, triangle file, real fine file. And you have to sharpen every single tooth, just right on the very front. Alright, so each of these two teeth is kind of a triangle shape. So I want to, and they alternate. So one cuts from one way, one cuts from the other way. So I'll only be able to sharpen one direction and then I'll have to turn the saw around and go from the other direction. And you want to push the file out. So it kind of pushes the burr to the outside. And I have to, because the saw is flexible, the file doesn't cut something that moves. You've got to clamp it in a vise with two blocks of wood so it holds it tight right to the edge so that you are able to file right to the real hard. We'll just sharpen the front. Skipping every other tooth as I go. That way I'll only sharpen the one side. So the angle here is key. You don't want to you don't want to go across straight. And if you sharpen too much like this, you're not going to sharpen the edge. So you want to try and follow the angle, the, the existing angle, kind of a 45 degree angle right across the front. And the whole front of the tooth should be shiny from top to bottom when you're finished, in about two strokes. When you're filing, you don't want to pull the file backwards because there's a bunch of little teeth basically on here. And they only cut going forwards. If you pull them backwards, you'll dull them. So obviously sharpening a saw with this many teeth is going to take a long time, but when you've got both sides sharpened and it's all shiny, you can look down at it and see a nice row of shiny teeth. There's one more thing you need to check before you go try it out on your new project. Um, it's called set. So I'm sure there's some fancy ways of measuring it, but basically you need all the teeth on the left side to be leaning left and all the teeth on the right side to be leaning, leaning right so that it cuts a wider path of wood away than the saw takes up. That way it's not always getting bound up while you're trying to saw. Alright, so see here I've sharpened a little bit here on the left side. I'm just going to set a few teeth. I'm going to squeeze the handle, that little pin in there kind of pushes out. It'll bend the tooth over. So I'll just bend that a little bit. Bend that a little bit. doesn't really feel like it does anything, but by the time you get to the end you can really tell that it's open them up a little bit. Maybe if you've got a saw that's got a little bigger teeth, just get a kind of fine pair of pliers and just kind of tweak each little tooth so that it will kind of spread out a little bit and open up the path of the saw. 